Hey everyone, welcome. Thank you very much for joining me. Look, we're going to talk about four EV stocks that are all of them under six bucks. So we got four EV stocks that are extremely cheap, four electric vehicle stocks, right? Extremely cheap. And all four of these have the potential for a short squeeze. Some, uh, well, well, one of them has already kind of scratched the surface, let's say, of a short squeeze. It's kind of, yeah, it has scratched the surface of a short squeeze. The other ones have a potential too. Now, uh, with that being said, let's get started real quick. So the number of electric vehicles on the road have crossed the 10 million mark in 2020. Yeah, back in 2020. But does that mean that we have a lot of EVs on the road? Actually, no. So that's actually good for the EV companies. That means that they have plenty of room to grow. 95% of all vehicles globally right now are still internal combustion. The first stock that has uh, a short squeeze potential, but it has actually scratched the surface already of a short squeeze is Mullen Automotive. Mullen Automotive is not a stock that I own and I don't intend on owning one. With that being said, that does not mean that the stock can't go up, obviously. I have a specific investment strategy that I use and I stick to it and I don't change. With that being said, my investment strategy can obviously exclude a lot of stocks and will exclude a lot of stocks that uh, will go up in the near term or in the future. And that's fine with me. I can't be all over the place and own all the stocks on the stock market. I, I still go by my investment strategy and that's just how I go about it. Even if that means that I'll miss out on a stock that goes up, that's, that's fine with me, no problem. With that being said, Mullen Automotive is a California-based electric vehicle company and it was founded in 2014. And guess what? It is currently, as I'm looking uh, on the in the stock market right now, it is trading exactly, exactly $3 per share, all right? It's definitely one of the cheapest electric vehicle stocks you can buy in the market right now. One of the cheapest, and in fact, the one that gets the most interest. It has, like I said, scratched the surface of a short squeeze there is a potential that's what i mean by that there is a potential for this to go much much higher on a short squeeze and that potential may not happen but there is uh because there's a big movement behind it and that movement is the same movement that was behind amc or gamestop in this case it the movement behind moon automotive comes mostly from reddit so there's a lot of users who are very pumped and they're very hyped about this many for different reasons some say because of the battery technology the company has others say because they believe in the CEO, whatever. Everybody has their own thing, but that's what it is, all right? So this count, this stock is and has been for the past month, let's say, it has been going up quite a bit. Well, I mean, if you think about it, last month was at 44 cents, near near 44 cents. Let's say 50 cents. It was around there last month, and right now at three dollars. So I guess you can say it's sort of gone a little bit past scratching the surface of a short squeeze units sold in 2022 look 500 units is very little but when you consider the, how much hype and interest there was behind this stock if it comes true that q3 2022 they actually go on and they start commercial production they actually start commercial production right and they actually sell 500 units in 2022 squeeze the next stock that may have the potential of a short squeeze, again, not right now, but in Q3 of 2022, same thing as Lordstown Motors, is Faraday Future Intelligent Electrical Corporation. FFIE is the ticket symbol. The share price is under six bucks or around there, and the market cap is at $1.8 billion. This company in 2021 did sign a partnership with Palantir, another stock that uh, has a lot of retail interest, but Palantir questioning the financial stability of this company, questioning their own sanity, why they invested in this. The company has since built a factory in California and says that it will start its production of vehicles in Q3 of 2022. Could you imagine the day when they announced that we started, we're actually starting to roll out vehicles from the factory? I don't know, just my guess. I think Wall Street Bets and Reddit, will, again, Reddit users will be very excited about this and I think it might be uh, a reason for another um, sort of small, medium, I don't know how what the size will be, of a, of a, a top of a uh, kind of a short squeeze. The main reason the Faraday Future is one of the cheapest EV stocks to own is because investors aren't sure how to value it. And you, you really can't value this company right now. It's kind of hard. There isn't much financial information to evaluate. And one more stock that I think could cause a short squeeze at some point if they start getting news out of some new deal and 
more uh, vehicles sold. Now this one out of the ones that I just talked about, this one that I'm gonna talk about right now is actually proven or more proven than the ones we just talked about. All right, XO, XOS Incorporation, right? XOS Incorporation creates fully electric commercially delivered uh, XOS Incorporation creates full electric commercial delivery trucks. On top of this, it, it also offers fleet management and software and charging infrastructure. That's very exciting stuff. And the good thing is that this company has already been selling vehicles and, and the customers of this company include FedEx, Loomis, Unifirst, just to name a few. So it's doing very well and its vehicles have been out since 2018. So what's interesting is that XOS focuses on the last mile and return to base segments of delivery and with e-commerce being on the rise more fulfillment centers being built this has allowed obviously companies to deliver faster but there's a problem now they need that last mile delivery vehicle and they can get that electric fully electric from xos they've been getting them uh, like i said fedex and other companies have ordered from xos and i think that if xos can come up with some news of a new deal a bigger deal with some big companies again uh, for XOS vehicles, I think it will cause the stock to rise a lot, in my opinion. Take care, everyone.